Hi there, it's Tidbit Tuesday, the day of the week I dedicate to you for ideas and inspiration in your art journal. Last week I had spoken to you about Derwent ink tense blocks. These are my favorite. I use them all the time and I use them more than any other paint or ink out there. Um, and last week I had shown you uh, the wet on wet technique, meaning that I had pre-wet the paper and then added my wet inks or wet watercolors either way to the wet paper. This week I'm going to show you a wet on dry technique, which as a self-taught artist, I believe is a really good and conducive technique to use when you're trying to blend colors. So let's say, or you know, if you're trying to fade a color, either way, but let's say you want to fade from red to yellow, for instance. So I'll add red, I'll add a little orange, and I'll add a little yellow while the paper's still dry, and then I'll add water as needed to encourage the blend. Um, and sometimes I add too much paint, so I will wet my brush and I will pick up the color and dab it off in, on my dabbing sponge and then continue to work the painting that way. So wet on dry is a little bit more of a technical technique than a wet on wet, but after some practice, you will start to feel like you're in more control of things. A wet on wet, a lot of times the, the paint was, wants to just go wherever it wants and has a mind of its own. Wet on dry, I feel I get a little bit more uh, control over it. So. I hope you try this yourself sometime and thank you very much for watching. I um, got my inspiration, by the way, for this painting from Pinterest, which is a wonderful, wonderful resource to look, look uh, for inspiration. So thanks again and have a great week and I'll see you next week on Tidbit Tuesday. Bye-bye.